I think there's a lot of confusion around what we mean when we say energy transition. So I wonder if you could just start by what does it mean for you? Where do you focus within the transition? How do you define that overall? Maybe. Yeah, I think the way that I think about the transition is both as kind of an endpoint and a continuum. I think we all understand and agree collectively as humans the where we need to get to. Um, a fundamental reorientation of you know, the global economy away from being powered by fossil fuels to being powered by different sources. And I think the way that we get there is the continuum. Uh, we've seen a lot of leaps and bounds in the renewable energy space, in um, you know, renewable power in certain industries, but there are a lot of different steps that we need to take to continue to move forward towards that kind of desired endpoint. So there's you know, a lot of different technologies, a lot of different ways to invest you know, both in mature and in um, early stage companies to achieve that goal. And I think you know, we have to focus, to your point, Stephen, both on the kind of low hanging fruit of energy efficiency, so reducing overall power need, as well as you know, uh, finding a new way to think about how the power that we do need is, is going to be um, kind of derived. So I think it's, it's both you know, what do we need to, what is our desired endpoint, which is, I suppose, for most people, 2015 net zero or as close to it as we can get. Yep. And then how do we get there? And I think that how we get there is a lot of different stages, a lot of different steps, which opens up an enormous breadth of opportunity uh, for investors and for allocators and work in these different spaces, different technologies, different areas of the capital stack, kind of like we all represent on the stage. So yeah, I think it's, it's kind of a fundamental transformation um, of the world economy.